Hi, I'm Gary Fuller, the owner of Acme Detection. Today, we're going to do another video on how to find a water leak. You've received a high water bill, and you think you have a water leak. How do you really know that it's not someone just overwatering the yard? What you need to do is go down to the water meter and check the dial. There's a little meter, about yay big with some numbers, and inside that is a very small meter that we call the micrometer. You look at that, if it's spinning, typically slowly, you will know that you have some sort of a leak in the piping. Okay, James, did you shut off the water? Shut off. Okay, now we're looking at the meter. The wheel is still spinning. Now what that tells us is the leak is between here and the house. So, what the next thing we need to do is, is try to find the path of the pipe between here and the house. So do you want to dig up your whole driveway looking for this leak? Me neither. That's why I have this very expensive pipe locator. We've gone ahead and we put a charge on the pipe, and this basically follows the charge wherever the pipe goes. It'll give us the direction as well as the depth. Okay, now that we've found the run of the pipe, we want to go ahead and find the actual location of the leak. This is a RD18 listening device. It's very sophisticated. It has noise canceling filters in it, and it's really going to help us pinpoint the actual location of this leak. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of noise. I'm going to keep going up the hill. Right now, what I'm hearing is more water trickling. So I'm going to guess that the water is actually uphill from here. I'm not hearing the actual shush, but it's more like a babbling brook. OK, as I get a little closer. OK, now I'm, now I'm hearing something. OK, I'm hearing an actual sound similar to a jet engine. Now we think we've found the actual spot. I'm hearing something that sounds something akin to a jet engine a very quiet jet engine, but with this sophisticated microphone, it sounds every bit as loud as a 747. So we're going to go ahead now just to pinpoint it. We're going to go ahead and drill a hole down and see what happens. OK, we've gone ahead and put a two foot deep hole down here. There still isn't anything coming up. We've done a couple holes, but we're going to go ahead now and use a probe. This right here. This will take us down to about four feet. I'll set this down here and see what happens. Okay, and as you can see, we're pulling this out. We've got a nice, nice wet hole there. It'll probably come up in a minute. That looks very good to me. We've got all the flow. I think we're directly on top of the actual leak. Thanks for being part of another successful leak by Acme Detection in Santa Barbara, California. We're back the following morning. We've got Nathaniel here from Channel Plumbing in Santa Barbara. He's gone ahead and dug the leak up. And here you go, we've got a piece of copper pipe right here. This is an inch and a half copper pipe. As you can see, the hole is right here. It's gone through the coupling and the pipe. This is a little unusual, but as you can see from the hole we got over there, we were dead on and everybody's happy. Especially me, because then I don't have to make a huge hole through this common driveway, so. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Okay, well, thank you guys for being part of our video. And uh, we'll hope to see you on our next video. Thank you.